ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, it has been a busy, busy week. Um, I had a really good time over the past few days in LA. Haven't been to LA since BT weekend. I'm starting to realize, and maybe it's just me being naive, but people really be recognizing me now. And I'm like, and I'm still surprised because I really just be rolling solo dolo. Like, I don't care. You know what I mean? Cardi called me um, and was like, because I knew she had been trying to plan her birthday party, but she's been busy. She's working on a lot of stuff. And I was asking her early in the month, like, what are you going to do this year for your birthday? And she, you know, she still wasn't sure. So they had been trying to get everything kind of put together at the last minute. There was a lot of different changes. So she called me Sunday night, like, you got to come to the party. Um, and I'm like, well, when is it? I'm thinking it's like a week away. She was like, we're going to do it Tuesday. I'm like, you understand? I don't live in LA. I live all the way out here in Minnesota, but I made it happen. You know what I'm saying? I was able to put together a cute little burlesque outfit because she was having a burlesque theme party, get my ticket, hotel, and, you know, fly out there. So I get to the hotel, I'm checking in, I come in at night, you know, I speak to everybody, that's just how I am. Hey, how y'all doing? You know, I'm just checking in. And the guy said something and I laughed and he recognized my laugh. It's like he stopped. He said, hold on, <clears throat> hold on. I recognize that laugh. I recognize that voice. You're that girl on YouTube. I said, damn, damn, I done been caught. <laughs> Because I've been trying to creep in and creep out. And I'm like, yes. And he's like, you're lovely, teen. I was like, yes, please don't tell nobody I'm here, honey. So, you know, he gave my room key and everything. They were, like, really cool at the hotel. When I went to get my rental car, the lady recognized me. And she was like, oh, my God, I'm a big fan. And say California. People kept asking me to say California. And I'm like, California. And so she just started laughing. So shout out to her. Um <clears throat> Excuse me, the weather is changing in Minnesota, obviously. And then on the plane, I ran into a tea sipper. So she's stopping, you know, people trying to put their bags on. She's stopping and talking to me like, I've been watching since I was 15. Oh, my God. You know, so I spoke to her. And then as I'm getting off the plane, the stewardess recognized me and was like, hey, I'm a tea sipper. So I'm like, well, damn, okay. You know, just getting recognized. So I'm just, I'm humbled. It was nice meeting so many people, this short little, you know, few days I was in LA just blew my mind because every time people like are like hey hey and I just who who me I'm looking around too like who what celebrity we looking at because I'm just a regular damn girl okay or woman so anyhow um let's so let me tell you about the party we're gonna talk about the party first and foremost it was a nice event so I got a chance to, to meet up with Armand. I hadn't seen Armand in a while I had ran into him earlier in the year around no BT weekend I think yeah, when I was out there for BT Weekend, we had went to Jason Lee's event. So I got a chance to see him then, but I hadn't been able to like really kick it with him. And so we decided to go to the party together because I was rolling solo dolo. The other lady that's supposed to go, she wasn't able. It was a lot of stuff going on with the guest list. It was just a lot of chaos. We'll get to that. So I met up with Armand and um, his boyfriend and his two friends, and they were so sweet. And his friend was a tea sipper. He got introduced to my videos via his boyfriend. So I'm like, you know what? It's just a small world. And our mom was looking sharp. He had on these dope Balenciaga shoes. He was in all white. Like everybody was dressed to the nines. So when we got there, um, we seen there was a big old line. There was a lot of people waiting. And I'm like, yeah, I don't do lines. First of all, I'm a female. I got on heels. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting older. I don't have Meg the Stallion knees. I don't have time to wait in lines. Okay? This is not an amusement park. So... I get into the Uber with Armand and them. I'm like, we about to call Cardi right now. They're like, go ahead and call us. I called. I said, Cardi, I'm here. I'm with Armand and his friends. We need to get inside. We're not waiting in line. They're talking about they're not letting people in. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm older. I can't stand out here. So she ends up calling her publicist, um, Vanessa, who had been out there for some reason. But, you know, she finally came up to us and she came and got us and took us right into the party. So 
I just find it very interesting that, you know, little old me, honey, from Minnesota, baby, you know what I mean, was able to walk on into the party with Armand and his crew. Meanwhile, Jamie Foxx was turned away at the door, which is weird because I'm like, that's a big old A-list celebrity. I'm just a little bitty YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know why that was that they turned him away, but we'll get into it. So now um, we're in the party. I will say that to me, this venue was not my favorite. I think the party that she did last year, that venue was perfect. It was a lot of people. It was a lot of space. You could walk around and really mix and mingle. Like there was so many people that I saw last year that I was not expecting to see. I ran into a lot of celebrities, got a chance to meet people, you know, people who were fans of my work. Like it was just really, it was more, it was, you were, you were able to flow more because you had this big dance floor and then um, on one side was roped off. It was all VIP tables. Then you go up the steps. It was a bar. There was room in the bar area to kind of kick it. There was a 360 booth. We was taking pictures, having a good old funky time. Then you could go outside and there were backdrops outside. There were food trucks. So last year, it just seemed like it was a bit more well put together. I think this year was a bit kind of rushed just because she's had so much going on. So when you first walked in to the club, it was smaller. And y'all know I'm all about a theme. Like even when I did my party this year on the boat, my whole theme was, you know, animal print, you know, for Leo season, everybody had to wear some type of animal print. Like I love a good theme. You know, we did all the decorations, honey, the centerpieces, all that stuff. So for me, I, I'm here for a theme party, but I want to enjoy every moment. And I really like the burlesque dancers. I've never seen burlesque like outside of TV. Like We've all been in Magic City. I didn't see strippers shake their ass and their tits and shit. They then not shake their titties in my face. I've experienced all that. I've never seen like the classy burlesque. So I really wanted to like watch their show because the girl was like dancing on the bathtub and doing all these little moves and lifting her leg up. But everything was so sensual. It wasn't ratchet. It wasn't a whole bunch of fast ass shaking. It was very sensual. And I was here for, I said, okay, grown and sexy. So the girls, they were like behind glass. It was kind of like a frosty glass. You could see their silhouette, but the main girl, that's when I had recorded on my page. Let me show y'all. She was bad. She was bad as hell. She could dance. She could move. I liked her swag. And like she was just doing her thing. And I and so when you walked in, that's where the burlesque dancers were. We're like in this little hallway area. And I kind of felt like the venue should have been bigger because I would have loved if they put a burlesque dancer in each corner. Like, you know, two in the front, two in the back. So whichever way you looked at in the club, you could see them dancing in their little positions. I think that had been better, um, you know, because people, unless you were just standing out there, you weren't going to see them. Most people just walked in. We looked at them like, okay, they're cute. And then they just walked into the club. But for me, you know, I thought they were doing good. So I felt like they should have had more center stage because it took Cardi a while to come out. So for the most part, we're just sitting there listening to this DJ. The DJ was all right, but everybody's just kind of listening to him where I think we should have been watching the dancers. I think that had been dope. But again, I wasn't the one who put the party together. Okay. So, um, so anyhow, so we're, we're kicking it. We're having fun at the table. You know, we're, you know, we don't, you know, uh, Bogart is somebody's VIP section, honey. Don't know whose table it was, but it was ours for that night. So we sat there, we was kicking it. We was cracking open the whip shots. <laughs> We was having a bond. Now, y'all know I don't really drink. That's just drinking is not really my thing. Um, even on my birthday when I had had the table and stuff at the club and they was bringing out vodka and I don't know, Ciroc, whatever the hell they were serving, you know, and they're like, oh, you know, they was trying to pour me a drink. Hey, uh, -uh we're not going to fill that up. Just just a little, just a splash of vodka. And then I want the rest to be filled with juice. OK, because I'm just not a heavy drinker. So, you know, everybody else, you know, Armand, he, he the turn up king. You know what I mean? That's Mr. Hennessy. You know, they're all taking their shots and Casamigos, they're having their fun. And so, you know, I'm like, well, damn, I've never seen, you know, liquor in a, in a whipped cream can. This is interesting. So we crack them all open. And, you know, I like whipped cream. Like, usually I do eat a lot of whipped cream. Um, I put a lot of that on my fruit. So like on strawberries, you know what I'm saying, blueberries. I, I have canned whipped cream in my refrigerator, you know, just squirt it on there. So for me, that's where my mind was going, right? So there's a video of them squirting it in my mouth. This is my first time ever trying this. Let me show y'all. Let me, let me share my screen. This is like, it's just, it's funny. 
we had such a good time. We were just clowning and just having fun. Let me share my screen here. So this was me at the party. That was my burlesque outfit. Yes, I had the girls out. Um, whoever caught my boobs, T and Tamara, y'all had me cracking it. Like, T got the twins out, T and Tamara. I'm like, uh-uh, not y'all naming my breast. So, you know, it was grown and sexy. And so that was me there with the whip shot. And this was them. <laughs> We was clowning. So that, that was me and our mom there with his Balenciagas, honey. So we were just all, you know, in this VIP section. I don't know whose VIP section was, but it was ours. It was ours that night. So we're just all in there clowning. You know, we're having fun. Um, there's some more pictures of me. That was, you know, like a decent amount of people. And I got a chance to meet Glorilla. She was very cool, very down to earth. I really liked her. She's a vibe. Okay, there's music playing, so I can't play that. And that was her rapping um, tomorrow, too. So, yes, honey, them damn TTs was popping. So, you know, we, we were just having a really good time. So, anyhow, so now, you know, they're, they're drinking, they're having their fun. And the whip thing, it don't really taste like alcohol to me. And I'm somebody who's very sensitive to alcohol. It just tasted like creamy goodness in my mouth. Oh, gosh, that sounded bad. But I'm just saying. So I'm like, damn, this shit is good. Well, now I want to try the other flavor and the other flavor. Child, by the time I knew it, I done ate half the whipped cream bottle. I didn't know. You know what I mean? It just comes out so smooth and creamy. So I done ate half the bottle, right? So now we're finally, you know, they're, they're moving us out of that section because Offset and his family's coming. So like now they're like, y'all got to get up. Go do something. So he's like, let's go to the stage and go watch, you know, Miss Cardi B. So we're all out there watching Cardi B perform. She's doing her thing. She looked gorgeous. Waist was snatched. Couldn't have been no more than 22 inches. I was like, damn, she looked good. Her outfit was beautiful. Like everybody looked really nice. Offset looked really nice. He looked sharp. Um, so, you know, we're, we're all watching, you know, her performing everything else. She's giving people whip shots. She's giving, um, I think she gave Armand some Hennessy. Um, she's like, you know, pouring drinks into people's mouths. I wasn't down for that. I don't drive the boat. I need, you know, when it's hard liquor, I need it to be measured out accordingly. You're not just going to free fall liquor in my mouth. So I wasn't down with that, but I was here for the whip shots. Man, by the end of the night, them damn whip shots kicked in. Oh, that shit kicked in. I didn't even know till the next day when I went to go Google these whip shots, it contained 10% alcohol. My ass that barely ever drank was, was eating something with 10% alcohol. Then ate up half the can because it tasted so good. Chad, I was trying to get to the bathroom. I'm like this and people was trying to help me. So, you know, I had a good time. I had a good time, buddy. It, it was fun. Um, now, some girl... She passed out at the party. Um, my mother-in-law was calling me the next day, making sure it wasn't me on the stretcher. I'm like, I don't, I don't even know when this happened. I ended up asking Cardi. I said, well, who was the girl on the stretcher? Cardi said she didn't know. And I don't know. It couldn't have happened inside the club because this club was really small. Like, you literally, you can see everybody in the club. Like, Danny Lay's right here. I'm right here. Uh, Chloe and, and Haley Bailey, they're right there. I'm right. Like, you can see literally everybody in the club. So I don't know who this girl was that passed out and got taken out on the stretcher. I'm assuming maybe she passed out in the line. I don't think she was in the club because we would have seen paramedics and all that coming in. So I don't know. But the Jamie Foxx thing, like, really surprised me that he didn't get in. Because um, Tiffany Haddish came in and she wasn't dressed like nothing. Her titties weren't out. She didn't even follow the thing. Lala Milan was there. She looked gorgeous. She had her little burlesque outfit on. But Tiffany Haddish just showed up. I said, well, how the hell did she get in? Because people were saying, well, Jamie Foxx wasn't dressed for the occasion. You can't just show up in Nike. Well, Tiffany, Fo uh, Tiffany Haddish wasn't dressed up, and they let her in. So I don't know what that was about, but I think the guest list was off. I know a lot of people were waiting to get confirmation, and there was some type of mishap where people were not getting confirmations. People were not on the list. But I will also say this. Um, when I talked to Cardi about the Jamie Foxx situation, she felt bad, but it was it had nothing to do with Cardi. 
She's literally on stage turning up for her birthday, you know what I'm saying, having fun. She don't know who the hell's at the door. That's not her job. So she didn't know, you know, what happened, why he wasn't able to get in. But to be honest, this club was not that big, y'all. Like, Jamie walked up with 10 people, and this is just me being brutally honest. Where were they about to sit? Because me, Armand, and his three friends, we took up a whole booth by ourselves. It wasn't nothing but, what, five of us? Like, literally, if you were to squeeze 10 people in that booth, they'd have to be sitting on laps. Now, I would volunteer to sit on Jamie Foxx's lap, okay? I would give up my seat for Jamie Foxx and sit on his lap. I, I sure would. But other than that, there was nowhere for them to sit. So I think that was the issue. Because he's such a big star, it's like you can't let Jamie into this little-ass club, and there's literally nowhere for them to sit. The people that are sitting next to us was like OT Genesis um, and his entourage, and then there was like a table in the middle. Well, well, no, table was just booths. So only like six booths total. There was like a booth in the middle. And that's where Chloe, Haley, Danny Lay, Karuchi, uh, DDG, I think that's his name, uh, Haley's boyfriend, um, YK Osiris, child. I'm trying to remember these names, okay? They were kind of all in the middle. That Ice Spice girl was there with the red afro. She was there. She was kind of like in a table, like in the corner. But yeah, I, I don't know where Jamie Foxx would have sat with his entourage. Like just looking at what was going on in that club, there was not enough room. And you can't make somebody like Jamie Foxx stand. Like he's not going to have that. So I think that was the whole thing is that what they were trying to do was kind of maybe stall to see if they could kick, you know, people like me out of the section. <laughs> Cause they did, they was like, uh-uh, y'all got to get up now. Y'all been here all night, I'm sitting them coming. I'm like, well shit, can we move once he gets here? But I think they were trying to find space for him, but there was really no space. You cannot have an A-lister like Jamie Foxx just standing in the middle of the club. He, he's gonna wanna sit down. So I think that's really what happened is that they couldn't find any space for him. Cause there was really no space and it was very, very tight, very small. Um, I just wish they would have picked a bigger venue. That's my only complaint. Um, I don't like when I'm, you know, near the front of the stage and you, you know, I don't, I don't like that astral world feeling because not everybody's trying to rush the stage and get video and they're pushing you. And I feel a bunch of, you know, uh, lingerie, you know, everybody's lingerie got rhinestones and shit. I feel rhinestones on my back. I'm getting scratched by shit. Got titties all over me. You know what I mean? It was just very tight. Whereas, you know, at her last venue, it was enough space to spread out. You know what I mean? So that's my only complaint. As far as people saying that it was boring, I think this. I'm just the type, wherever you go, you got to be able to make fun. You know what I'm saying? You got to have fun and you got to be with fun people. When you're with fun people, it's not boring. Armand is a fun person. I'm a fun person. A lot of my tea sippers, y'all don't party with me. Troy knows, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Troy's TV. Y'all know how I get down. I don't sit around and just hold up walls or I'm just sitting there like looking mad and bitter. Oh, I'm a diva. Uh-uh, bitch. Move on over. We gonna laugh. We gonna clown. We gonna have fun. So when people say that stuff is boring, usually they're the boring ones. Usually they're the wallflower. Go back to my boat party and look how we was turned up. Shout out to Marquis, Janissa, Zulika, Camille. They all came to my party. My cousins, everybody. We turn up. <laughs> now we can't play all this music. But I'm going to show you this part where they play McMill. <laughs> like, yeah, that's how I get down. Like, we gonna have fun, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. I'm not gonna stand around and just be like on some weird bougie, like, uh, no, we rapping to the songs, we rapping word for word, we turning up. So if people were bored, that's cause they were boring. And these, all these folks who are claiming that they're bored, I didn't see any videos. Well, at least show me a video of you in the club just sitting here like this, bored. I didn't, well, where's the video? Were you really there? That's the question. So again, was this like the most lit, you know, party? I don't think it was the most lit because I think her party last year was better just because the location and the space. But this was definitely fun and I definitely had a good time. You know what I'm saying? And them whip shots, honey, they were no joke. They were definitely fun. I think, you know, she went all out as best as she could. It's her 30th birthday. And my main thing, like I told her, <clears throat> is that, I want her to understand that she is starting a new chapter in her life and that, you know, to reach 30 is a blessing. 
You know what I'm saying? We live in a culture where everything is just so, once you, you hit 30 year old, you're over the hill and it's not that. You know, you can do so much. You still have a whole nother life, a whole nother chapter of your life to live, you know? So um, it was, it was, it was a blessing. I was happy. I'm very grateful, you know, to get that invite that, you know, she invited me and I felt right at home. You know, the energy was good. I didn't feel any craziness. You know, Danny Lay was sitting there. She looked beautiful. You know, the, the Bailey sisters, they look gorgeous. Everybody was dressed to the theme, you know, except for Tiffany Haddish. <laughs> but I mean, basically, you know, for the most part, all the females, you know, they followed the theme. And I even felt comfortable. You know, usually I'm very insecure about my chest, but I said, you know what? I don't care. I think I look good for my age. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I, I can I can handle these. You know, I can be in the same room with these young celebrities and feel OK. And people pay good money for big boobs. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to let y'all stop making me feel insecure about my chest. Ain't nothing I can do about it. They ain't going no damn where. So it is what it is. So I feel very confident in my outfit. And thank you guys so much for just all the compliments and the likes. I was shocked when I woke up and I had like 18,000 likes on my pictures because I don't really even post pictures that much. So thank you guys just so much for the love and the support and just, you know, making me feel confident again. Because, you know, once you get to a certain age, child, you be like, oh, God. <laughs> You're like, ah! All this, you know what I'm saying? Older weight gain. I hate it, but it is what it is, shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had a really good time. So, um, it was amazing. And then I got back here, um, you know, late last night only to see all of this drama unfolding. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.